Hey everybody, Mike Wrench. Mike, the time has come for the fourth journey home. And it's all thanks to this guy right there. Yep, that's him waving right there. If you've been following his channel or following my channel, you know we're in Los Angeles. We are going to try to drive this beautiful Porsche Panamerica. Panamerica, that's what I call it. Panamera and a 69 Chevelle SS 396 all the way back to Oklahoma. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm in the car. All right, here they all are in all of their glory. This thing is what I'm going to drive. This is beautiful. This is beautiful too. Yeah. Let's see his confidence level. Are you having any predictions? Are you? I wanted you, to go south, yeah. away from the mountains. Okay. What's it telling he us to, to do? Wants to take us north through Flagstaff. Oh. Uh oh. I mean, the scenery is better. Yeah, but you got mountains and you got a carburetor. Yeah. So that could be fun. I'm nervous. I'm yeah. real nervous. <laughs> Seriously, not just for YouTube, like genuinely, genuinely nervous. There's yeah. 40 grand Woo! riding on this thing getting home. Yeah. yeah, all right. Well, that's the purpose of the video right there. Will we make it home? Will we survive? Remember last time we did this? We went up, we tried to get two cars. We had a trailer one all the way home. Thank you very much, S600. But it's been very popular on my channel, so I do love that. Anyway, we're gonna pick it up. We're gonna see if a 69 Chevelle and a 2013 Porsche Panamera can make it all the way from Los Angeles to Oklahoma City. Okay, we've made it 10 feet. We've run across a communication problem. Randy doesn't have power windows and he doesn't have any way to talk to me. And we're trying to figure out how to get gas. Here we go. How do you like those power windows? That's nice. All right. Yeah. So my gas tank's on this side. Passenger side, right? Yeah, yours is on that side. Mine okay. Is in the back. Oh, okay. So if you guys move, I can pull all the way up. Okay. Oh, well, no, nope. your gas tank's on the other side. Mine's on this side. So you'll need to pull up to this guy. Yeah. Okay. Don't, Yay. Don't be a sucker. No, no, no. Don't be a sucker. Don't let the man get you. Don't let the man get me down. All right. We'll do this. We'll have some fun getting some gas. Randy's already had some lady stop by and take pictures and talk to him. Yep, she was taking all kinds of pictures of the car. He's getting all the attention. It's like this little baby right here. This Porsche Panamera just doesn't exist <laughs> when compared to the 69 SS. Well, apparently the car is running very well. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there he is. He's flying down these roads. And when he hits the gas, yep, you can hear the exhaust. Four car lengths, five car lengths back. Yep, 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 yep. But look at the mountains, if you can see them through the smog. Can you hear the exhaust? Yes, sir, buddy. Alright, I'm loving life. Listen to this. I got my TikTok radio on. I've already been through the 70s. I hit a little bit of the 80s as well. But I gotta show you something right here on this little car. The gas mileage is pretty dot gum. Dod dad gum incredible. So look at that right there. 30 miles per gallon. Well, that's kind of a you know estimate. But look at that. And I have only gone through maybe a little more than uh, quarter of a tank. Randy needs gas. He said he was all the way empty 
and he needed some gasoline. So let's see what's going on. I think he's about to, uh, he's walking over here. All right, let's go out and meet him. Let's see what life is like in the uh, Chevelle. I can hear you. I can hear you so well. So can all the rest of the travelers. Yeah. So how much is gas here? 719. Oh, 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 oh. Does that qualify for a, a, a Biden sticker? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> something tells me somebody's going to walk up and slide. It won't be me. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, someone else. Like defacing or something. Yeah. Somebody probably will walk up and slide. Yeah. As soon as I go inside, that's what's going to happen. How does she drive? Awful. Really? Drives great. Yeah. But these bias ply tires. Yeah. They did you notice me like swerving all over when we got into that rough patch? Yep. Yep. The tires catch those grooves, even little ones in the road, and it just uh -huh. it jerks me all over the place. These tires suck. They're great for like museum quality or auction quality. Yeah. Or show quality. But as far as like drivability, no. I can't wait to get those new uh, those new wheels and tires. I think that'll fix that whole problem. Okay. Other than it, that, though, it drives great, man. It looks good. You get lots of rubbernecking going down the road. It revs at a uh, seventy at like thirty five hundred RPM. <laughs> so she, that's why she's getting bad fuel yeah. economy because the engine is just wound up the whole time. Yeah. And you've had her up to what? Not not that we're saying, but around theoretically 100, around a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's where all my gas went. Look, $100 right there already. Oh, my gosh. We ain't even done yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is going to be some trip home. Look yeah, at that. we got to stop like every three hours for gas. Oh, there it is. How's the Porsche? Oh, you, you don't even need gas. You're good. I don't need gas. Okay. I got just, I went through maybe a little more than a quarter of a take. Okay, I do have an issue with your car. There's something in your car that I hate. What? Okay. So, the car is so quiet. You can't hear anything except this. You can hear this little <laughs> metal thing rattling on the key. Turn the radio on. The radio is on. But if you balance the key like this, if you balance it like that, then it doesn't rattle. But you can literally, it's so quiet, you can hear this. So that's your And it drives problem. you crazy. Your biggest problem is the key. Yeah, ring. yeah, that that's it. That must be nice. That's We're it. swapping cars now, right? Mm, well, I'm, I'm just not getting into my TikTok radio on oh, okay. XM. Okay. Sorry. now about 11.09 p.m. and we are far away from Los Angeles. You know how we know? Well, one, because it's dark. Two, because the gas prices have gone down significantly. 584. I think we paid 7, 719. Was that the most? Oh, okay. We've made a discovery. Randy's tires are trying to kill him. Those old tires, when you hit the ruts, they just pull you right in? Yeah, it's so weird. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll go off off tripod here. Look at that. Oh, that is weird. They're wavy. Yeah, they go one. Yeah. It's, it's very strange. That's really strange. We're in Seligman? Yep. Something like that. What state? Arizona? Arizona. We, we were in Arizona, then we left, and then we went to another state, and then we came back to Arizona. I got to figure out how that happened. <clears throat> Probably ended up in Nevada or something. Yeah, we went through Oregon. somewhere weird. Randy's, it's cold now. It's 50, 55 degrees. It's freezing, man. Yeah. And there's an exhaust leak. Oh, no. So, so you're a little high? Yeah, I have to keep rolling the window down because I'm starting to get... <laughs> now rough. the trip gets fun. It's rough. Yeah. And we're not getting to a, a hotel till like 4 in the morning. That's the plan. And then we got to check out to what, 11? Yeah. Then we got another, what, 10 hours of driving? Yeah. Great. Isn't this fun? Great. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how Randy says he stays awake. He books a hotel in the middle of the night and he pays for it and then he's got to stay awake because he's already paid for the room. We think he's getting about 10 miles, 10 or 11 miles. Yeah, 10.7. 10.7 miles. Yeah. And I text him when it's like 100 miles. He didn't get my last text, but yeah, that's just to remind him to get gasoline. What's this? Oil? Is that what that is? Something shiny all over back here, ain't there? Oh, okay. You might want to check your oil then, too. Uh, Yay! Other than that, and the tires of death, it's been a good trip. We saw an Instagram slash YouTube friend of Randy's had some good pizza. Then we hit the road, and I gotta stop because I'm cold. This is just an update. There you go, one beautiful Chevelle SS and one magnificent Porsche Panamera. And we began another day on our journey home to Tulsa. And gotta tell you, mwah, although she lost the race, she is one fine automobile. Randy's making a mess. That's what he does best over here. Just a little water. It's no, no problem at all. We've made a huge discovery, and I'm not going to talk about it, because that's your channel kind of stuff. But we found a code on the engine, and it settles the debate, does it? Yeah over what the engine actually is, yeah. and if it's original to the car, and all of that. So you have to go watch Randy's video. You can tell him if you want to. No, no, no. Okay. I have so many viewers, I'm gonna. I'm trying to help you out with all of my viewers. <laughs> right. I have one-tenth of your viewers, and I'm trying to help you out. Anyway, it is a big discovery. We have a little bit of an oil issue. We put in some antifreeze, but... That was low when we bought it. Yeah, it was low when we bought it. It doesn't leak or anything. No. So we're just putting some more of this in there. But I gotta tell you, we came into uh, Gallup, New Mexico at what time? Five? Oh my God. Five in the morning? Yeah. And they let us have a late checkout. So it is now, it's 1.30, about, and we're about to get on the road. Because we got a 10 hour drive. And we stop every hour for gas. For this lovely thing. <laughs> He's, he's, it ain't a great, it it's, smiles per gallon. Yeah, smiles per gallon. Well, you spanked this car's rear end. So yeah, he's getting lots of smiles. We'll get on the road. We'll see how far we can get, which is like 110, 120 miles in the orange car. And then we'll fill up for gas again. All right, folks, journey continues. I love this Porsche. we can let's go ahead and talk about this beautiful Porsche Panamerica yep the more I drive it the more I love it as you can see seven speed transmission 77 miles an hour I'm going about 2050 rpm I think I'm gonna get really good gas mileage this little button right here kind of changes things in the dash for you so you can see that I'm listening to my TikTok radio 
yep, I love my TikTok on XM. And we can go through here. I can put the navigation up right in here. Or I can go backwards. Let's not do that. I can go, no, I'll go backwards. I'm trying to do this and drive and not hit Randy at the same time. Okay, we'll go here. See, I can see where I am. Okay, so I don't want my navigation to cover up my TikTok radio. And I can connect my phone, my trip. Look at this, consumption, 32 miles per gallon. Of course, that's just an estimate. It's like those needles on the BMWs and the Mercedes that kind of gives you a horrible estimation of just how good you're getting <laughs> on the gas. Well, <clears throat> that says 32.1, that's a new record. Speed, 63 miles an hour is an average. Ride time, two hours and 51 minutes. But I wanna show you another button. I love all of this. I really love all of this right here. Okay, what I wanna show you is just how tight, when you put this thing into sport, how it tightens up everything. Okay, I can do this and the car pretty much stays level, okay? Now watch what happens when I turn this into sport. Sport. Okay, the RPMs go up a little bit. We go down a gear and watch. See, I can, go, I can only go this far before the car starts to shake. That's a big difference, see? Holy guacamole. That is really cool. I'll put it back in the normal driving mode. I like all the gauges right here. This is nice, but from my viewpoint right here, you really can't see your oil temperature, your oil pressure, your water temperature. You can kind of see your gas gauge. It's kind of hidden by that stock right there for your windshield wipers. But what a nice place to be. I'm loving the seats, loving the heated seats. And this thing is so quiet. It is crazy how quiet it is. All right, now that we're back on the road, I just zeroed out the uh, trip odometer. <laughs> I thought I was recording, but it was a picture that I took. Anyway, this old girl, this 2013 Porsche Panamera has just returned 29 miles to the gallon. 29 miles to gallon. I just did the uh, math on my calculator and this big old four-door V6 Porsche, 29 miles per gallon, love it. Love it, love it. So we got the trip odometer zeroed out again. We'll try and check the gas mileage one more time. We're still 500 miles from Oklahoma City and then I'm another 140 miles from Tulsa. Ugh. It's gonna be a long, long, long night. And yep, Randy is way up there ahead of me. All right, we are approaching 1 a.m. We still have 243 miles to get to Oklahoma City, and then I have another two hours after that, and I'm doing the unthinkable. Look, I've resorted to show tunes. Yep, I'm listening to Broadway on XM. Yep, there we go. Somebody shoot me now. And that, my friends, is how two guys drive two cars that are brand new to them from Los Angeles all the way home to Oklahoma City and then on to Tulsa. Yeah, the mighty S500 got me here all the way to T-Town. I gotta tell you, Mikey's tired. That was one heck of a trip, but oh my gosh, that Porsche. I've had, I'm gonna dream about her for a long, long time. That is such a cool car. I love it. I need one. I hope you're not listening, S63 AMG. No, I still love you too. Yeah, and of course, I love my Millie, my little MG midget that my dad had. I do want to say thank you to uh, Randy for inviting me along on these trips. They are so much fun, and they certainly help me build my channel. Um, they're pretty expensive for him to do, so I want to thank him for that. He's using up all of his points that he accumulates on his credit cards, and he's spending them building his channel and helping me build mine. So that is fantastic. 
As far as Monkey Wrench Mike, well, that's the last journey we have planned. Or is it? Could there be a power tour in the works? Probably. But I need to get back to work on this car right here. This is the BMW. Yep, that's what she looks like now. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll show you how she got there coming up in a video very, very soon. But thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and we are back with another video as soon as I wake up and get back to work. All right, folks, have a great day. Bye.